Once there was a ceiling fan who lived in a spare room in an old house that belonged to an old lady. He was one of the better models, an Electro Whirl 55B. He had three lights, and he had four shiny blades, and he had three settings, slow, medium, and fast. But he was very lonely. One day, the old lady bought a potted plant to liven up the spare room. And the ceiling fan fell in love. Right away, he started showing off for her. He spun his blades slow, he spun them medium, he spun them fast. He blinked his lights in a flirty way. For the first few days, the plant ignored the fan. But he was so impressive and so sincere that she found she was attracted to him in spite of herself. And she bloomed a very pretty flower to let him know. And as the years went by, they grew very close, even though they could never touch. They tried everything to get closer. but it was not to be. She would spend her nights creating beautiful new flowers for him. The fan, in turn, would spin a giddy little spin and send down a gentle breeze to caress her petals. She brought color into his life, and he brought motion into hers. Eventually, the old lady who owned the house started to become forgetful. She would let days, then weeks, go by without coming into the spare room. fan, once so shiny and proud, now wore a layer of dust. And worse, the plant was drying up. She couldn't bloom like she once had. But the fan didn't mind. Finally, one rainy night in spring, the fan realized that the plant was dying. He thought about how much the plant meant to him and how she'd kept him from being lonely. And he took a deep breath and began to spin. It was difficult at first because he hadn't done it in so long and because there was so much dust in his motor, but finally his blades went slow then medium, then fast, then very fast, faster than his highest setting, 
faster than he had been designed to go. The low hum of the fan became a loud roar. Dust billowed and sparks flew as he pushed his blades with all his might. The ceiling began to give way, but the fan kept spinning and spinning even as he crashed through the roof and into the open sky. The last thing he saw before he was dashed to bits on the ground below was the rain falling into the spare room. Not long after that, the old lady moved away and new people bought the house. They fixed it up and moved the plant out to the front yard where it flourished. But she never forgot the fan. And every spring, people come from all over to see the unusual flowers that bloom. Each one has four long, white petals. And when the breeze comes, they spin and spin 